get asked a lot about recipes for different breeds and sizes of dogs. Every breed and dog size has their own unique nutritional needs based on the breed's size, activity level, different health conditions that may go along with that breed that are more common with that breed. So it really, it depends on the breed of the dog, the size of the dog, but also every dog has nutritional needs that may vary. You never have like a typical dog that's just 100% the average dog for that breed or that size. Your dog may be a little bit more active, a little bit less active than the typical dog. Certain dogs, you know, breeds have roughly the same size, but even just a variation of, you know, a few pounds in a small breed might be an overweight dog or a dog that's a little bit larger than a smaller, more petite dog in that breed. So it's really important to not necessarily just look at your dog's breed or size, but really overall, their life lifestyle, any health conditions, as I mentioned, their activity level, all of those things need to be taken into consideration when you're thinking about preparing homemade food for your dog. The best place to start is to have a discussion with your veterinarian or a trained canine nutritionist and they can help you to formulate some different recipes that are going to meet your dog's unique nutritional needs. If you're looking for a basic recipe for small breeds to get started with, this is a really easy, simple recipe. It's fairly cheap to make and it would be great for most small breeds. Again, just be sure to touch base with your veterinarian or your canine nutritionist to make sure that it's providing the proper nutrients for your dog's specific needs. The first step in making this homemade dog food for small breeds is to saute some chicken on the stove top. I don't know if you can see it, I have about a tablespoon of olive oil in this pan and I'm going to add two chicken breasts that I've chopped and I'm just gonna saute it in the pan. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. You're just gonna make sure that the chicken's cooked most of the way through and then add the other ingredients. Now that the chicken is cooked, I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I have one cup of chopped vegetables. I used peas and carrots. You could use any dog-friendly vegetables. Beets are great. Green beans. You could even use some fruits instead if you'd prefer to use apples or blueberries. Any kind of dog-friendly fruits and vegetables would work. I'm also gonna add two cups of chicken broth and I'm adding half a cup of rolled oats. That's the last ingredient. So now I'm going to just stir this and allow it to simmer for about 10 more minutes and the food will be finished. For more information on the nutritional value as well as the serving guidelines, you can click the link below the video. I recommend feeding about a quarter of a cup for every 10 pounds of body weight and that recommendation is for two servings a day. So if your dog weighed 10 pounds, they'd eat a quarter of a cup in the morning and about a quarter of a cup in the evening. Keep in mind that's just a recommendation. Dogs that have a more higher energy, that are more active, may need more calories, while other dogs that are a little bit lazier might not need as many calories. So the best thing to do if you wanna use this recipe for your small breed dog is to discuss the change in diet with your veterinarian or a canine nutritionist. They can help you make that change and decide if this is gonna meet your dog's nutrition needs and the correct serving size. So again, click the link below the video. You can get the printable recipe and all of the nutritional and serving information there. Thanks for watching this recipe video.